Thank you, Acting Madam Deputy President. Uh, in the last set of estimates, I asked the uh, TGA if they could uh, provide to me which part of the coronavirus genomic sequence did they use to indicate that someone was positive to COVID and whether that genomic sequence also makes up other coronaviruses. And Professor Murphy responded, we can provide our notice the specific primers and the part of the virus it's used for. We do not believe there is cross-reactivity with other coronaviruses, but we can provide on notice. Experts at the Doherty Institute would be happy to provide that information. Well, I finally got the answer that I uh, had been waiting on for a very long time last week, and surprise, surprise, I'll read it out to you. There are a range of primers used in Australian laboratories, developed commercially or in-house, each targeting different areas of the SARS coronavirus. Depending on a laboratory's individual established workflow, uh, target genes include, and I'll note, the RDRP gene. Uh, now, the Australian, this is the, the bit that you'll like, the Australian government cannot provide the primer sequence information uh, for commercially available test kits as this information is commercial in confidence. So get a load of this, get a load of this. For almost two years, we shut down an entire country Okay, we spent hundreds of billions of dollars, instilled fear into every man, woman and child because of a virus. Uh, but when it comes to actually asking the health department for the part of the sequence that they used to indicate whether or not this virus, uh, someone had a positive response to that virus, they can't provide it because it's commercial inconfidence. Well, excuse me, but I didn't know that a virus could be patented. Uh, or am I missing something here? You tell me. Bring on the Royal Commission. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.